Now she's walking through the clouds with a circus mind that's running wild. Butterflies and zebras, moonbeams and fairy tales. All she ever thinks about is riding with the wind. Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So yes, finally I'm doing a tutorial on Little Wing. Um, I'm going to show you what I've just played. This is in standard tuning. Um, normally it's in E flat. But I'm also going to show you a simplified version with the chords. Okay? I'm going to do something like that. I'm going to do the open chords and a few little fiddly bits so you you know because this song is kind of an advanced song okay this is super easy guitar but I want to try and simplify stuff for you guys so this is in standard tuning let's zoom in and get straight into it okay so I'll show you the intro section I did first now this isn't obviously as I said it's in standard tuning it's gonna be a bit you know rougher than the original okay my notes aren't perfect and stuff, but it will hopefully put you in the right direction. And another little tip before we get going, don't try and do this whole track in one sitting. This little intro probably only lasts 30 seconds on the record, but the techniques involved probably will take you a bit longer. So try and do it section by section, okay? So let's run through this. Now that's a uh, third finger covering, covering the top three strings on the top E. Okay, now I'm doing this, that's, you know, no fingers are pressing down, just, alright, so I'm d going, so on my way down, I'm just doing a clap, and on the way back up, I'm hitting that 12th fret, and sliding all three strings down really quickly, and finishing off with the bottom E string. Then we got another clap and it's just a down up. All right. Then a little riff on the end and it's on the A string goes O2 and open G string. I'm doing a hammer on there. Straight away, we're going up uh, between 5 and 7 on the A string and I'm actually hitting the D string as well okay and that's just I'm leaving this finger to bar like the A, the D and the G and I'm kind of just being really loose between hitting the, the A and the D and the D and the G. So it goes 5-7 on the A. Then I'm hitting that D, D and G string. Then going 5-7 hammer on there. Then the thumb comes down to the third fret on the bottom E. Sorry. So 
So then I'm going to hit that note there, which is G, okay? Then I'm hitting the open G string again, and my first finger wants to get ready on the B and G, sorry, on the B and top E, string one and two, and we're just covering them. And what we're going to do, we're going to hit the B and G, B and E together, sorry. And as we do, we're going to hammer down the third finger, or the pinky, whatever you're comfortable with, into the fifth fret, so from the third to the fifth. Let's try and do that in time. So then straight after we've done that, I'm moving my fingers over to play this like F shape. Okay, so it's an F, but it's now in the third fret, so it becomes G major. And what I'm doing with the pinky, I'm just going on, on, off, on, off, on, on the third fret, uh, sorry, the fifth fret. I don't know what's wrong with me today. Da, 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 da. Then the last note is the fifth fret on the D string. so this bit's a bit fiddly and I never play it correct so um, you could slide up to that I just go straight there so that's just the fifth fret on the bottom E string and I'm doing a hammer on five to seven again And I'm doing a hammer on five to seven and hitting the A and the D string. Then I want to hit the D and the G and go back to that seven. If I get it right. Okay, and as soon as you've done that, that's what you should do, okay? So I think he actually hits the D and the G at the same time. And he does, uh, on the D string, five to seven, hammer on pull off. Then you go over a string, five to seven, hit the A and the D string, hammer on pull off. And then finally, the E, five to seven, hammer off, hammer on pull off. And then an open E, okay. Then we got this, um, so it's a bar down here, but I don't actually always do that. I think just because it's acoustic is more difficult. I'll probably do this way on the electric guitar. So I'm just barring from the A string at the seventh fret, and then my second fingers on the eighth fret on the B string, and the pinky. I'm hitting the G and the B, and the pinky is hammering down on the 10th fret. So I'm hitting them together, doing a hammer on pull off, and hitting that G string. But at the beginning, I probably did this. Okay, so it's just first finger, 7th fret on the G string, second finger, 8th fret on the B, hammer on the pinky down on the B, then hit that G string again. Then you've got to come back up here. So I'm actually then barring the A and the D. So I think he just does one there, and then two together. 
So I'm going um, seven, seven, well, seven and seven on the A and the D. Then my pinky's on ten. Then I'm hitting the, the D, the D and the G, because it's sub bar down. Then my third finger hits the ninth, and I'm still playing the D and G, bring them back off. Da 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 da. So that's close to what he's doing, okay? It's not perfect. Remember, this is the acoustic as well, so it's gonna be a bit more difficult trying to do these shapes up here. And it's all about timing, really. All right. Then you've got this B minor seven. And then I'm putting down, you could get rid of the thumb then if you can't reach. So third finger's on the ninth. First finger's barring down from the D string all the way to the top E. Pinky goes 10, back to nine. 10 on the B string. Then I'm playing this note here, okay? Which is eight on the B then eight on the G. Okay, I do like that. So again, B minor seven, B flat minor seven, A minor seven. So that's kind of the position. Sorry. I'm just kind of doing that. So I'm hitting the, that's gonna be six on the bottom E. Then the D string, six. And then upstroke in on the B and G. I'm doing the same thing in the fifth position. Let's go from the beginning. Okay, so it's not perfect, but for some reason when I play stuff slow, I can't do it properly, but that's just, you know, that's just my bad luck. Um, okay, so we've got down to this. Then it gets even trickier. Oh my gosh, what's going on here? So, you know, there's no real footage of him doing this section live i'm not wholly convinced this is how he does it um this is just how i do it okay now i do this really weird stretch between the fifth and the seventh but on the g and the d in my first and second finger most people use their first and third finger and can stretch there but for some reason my stretch is just much better between my first and second so what i'm doing there, i'm hitting these two strings you can do it like that Okay, just the two middle strings, five and seven. Okay. I guess that should be barred normally on the electric guitar. And then you could come off like that. Okay, so, but what we have to do on the acoustic. Okay, so I'm hammering on the ninth fret on the D string. Then I'm doing a double stop here, which is seven and uh, five and five on the two middle strings, the D and G. So the timing is um, one, two, 
Then I'm doing um, eight seven on the A string. Back to that double five, the two middle strings. So that five is a double da da da, and my third finger's going seven back to five, and I'm hitting the two middle strings again. Sorry. Then finally, you've got this thumb slide five to seven. Sorry. Then it just goes down to the third fret. And then we've got this like F chord again, just like the beginning, but now we're putting the pinky on. So that becomes the ninth, okay? So it's like a G9. Okay? And we're gonna slide that position up. Okay, so it's something like that. So G, slide up to A. So it's this whole position. And it goes back down to F. Not sure of the exact rhythm. It's pretty much like a feel thing. Once you're down to that F, 9, F9, then it goes to C, and then I'm just doing this, putting the pinky on the B string, and then that slides up from C to D. Sorry. Finally, we got this again. Two middle strings. I'm hammering on the D string, and that goes from eight to nine. Down, up, down. Down, up, down, up. Then I've got my pinky on the tenth fret on the A string. Then I'm going to seven on the A and D and then the pink the third finger hits that ninth fret again on the A or the second time round that's just a harmonic over the 12th fret so okay so that's the first complicated way Let's simplify it. So the chords, E minor. Now she's walking through the clouds, G, with a circus man. A minor, that's running. E minor, wild. Then B minor. If you can't bar yet, just do an A minor, swap the fingers round, so you're using your first, third, and fourth. Okay, so that's an A minor, but you've got this finger here. Slide up one, two frets, and put your first finger on that second fret on the A string. Don't play the top E, unless if you can play it, even better. So that'll just be a B, nice and easy. Slide it down, B flat minor, and then to A minor. Down to A minor, C, G, F, C. You 
can either slide that C, which sounds pretty cool, I think, or you can play D, normal D. So they're the chords he's playing with the verses. So to try and add a bit, a bit of something that's more interesting to it, we have to think about what goes on in the original track. Sorry. So if we want to try and do something like that. So I'm just doing an E minor. So I'm doing that same O2, open G. Then I'm hitting the D string O2. O2, on the D string. O2, I'm doing a hammer on, on the G. And then, but actually if we play the, the G string differently, if we play it with the other fingers, we can do this. That's cool, isn't it? So I'm just playing a normal G. And as I'm strumming down, I'm putting my first finger on that C note, which is the first fret on the B string. I'm pulling it back off. Finishing off, making sure I hit that G string. Then all I'm doing for the A minor, open E, sorry, B, my first finger, first fret, hammer on to the third fret, and pull off. Then with the second finger, I'm going to the G string, doing a hammer on pull off at two, hammer on at two on D. You can do three or two there. Okay. That's just on the B, uh, the A string. Two O. And then we're back to E minor. And we want this B minor. When we're playing A minor, on the G string, slide two to four, back to two, third finger on the third fret on the D string, two, open G, two on G. Okay, then we're on G. Now I'm doing this other G with my fingers on the B and top E and I'm sliding them so I'm going G so the the third and fourth finger are on the B and top E string and they're sliding from the third fret to the fifth fret and back then F then I'm doing the added nine so that's where the the pinky hits the third fret on the top E again. And then C. And again, just like the beginning, I'm putting that pinky on the third fret on the B. You 
can either finish it on a D like that or and you can do that riff at the end again so let me do the whole thing right So there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell button if you want weekly updates. Any comments or questions you have, put them in a, an email or put them in the comments box below. I'll do my very best to reply to you all. I do get tons and tons of emails now guys and it's kind of crazy with the requests and I, obviously I can't do them all but I'll do my very best. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and I do little competitions and I send out guitar picks and stuff like that. And I'll also be giving some free coaching lessons online. So make sure you keep up to date and follow me and all the rest of it and you get some cool free stuff, all right? So thanks for your support, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And I, I'm starting to recognize a lot of regular people now that are coming back and it's really cool, okay? So keep it going. Until next week, guys, enjoy.